So uh, masturbation, frequent masturbation, of course, can bring the uh, the sperm numbers down in the ejaculate. Uh, so, for example, if a man gives uh, uh, two or three, uh, if he ejaculates two or three uh, times a day, for example, uh, then obviously in each ejaculate, uh, we will uh, we will find if we had to examine those samples in the lab we would find uh, decreasing amounts of sperm. Um, obviously, uh, from a clinical perspective, when we uh, ask patients, we ask patients to um, uh, maintain their frequent ejaculations because uh, that keeps the environment, they, 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 when I say environment, I mean the seminal plasma, so the chemical environment where the sperm lives in the ejaculates healthier. And also, um, it is very important to uh, to keep to keep the days consistent. So uh, we have seen in the lab that the the optimal uh, days of, of a man uh, to uh, ejaculate is uh, to not ejaculate. Excuse me, is the to have an abstinence period, as we call it, three approximately three days. So uh, obviously, if we are having a patient who uh, ejaculates on a, on every day, in that case, is we would find. Um, probably a less semen volume uh, and also lower numbers of sperm from a patient who would uh, ejaculate uh, uh, every three days, for example. But uh, let's not forget, though, it, we should uh, also assess the, the data um, per patient as well. Uh, like uh, each, each, every, each man is different, so each organism is different. But overall, um, uh, from... Um, from what we've seen in the labs today, uh, the, the, the abstinence period obviously uh, can have an effect on the, on the numbers of sperm.